Springsteen sitting on our living room couch. He had on Levi's and a leather jacket and headband. Oh, he looks so cute. I said, Bruce, I had a dream about you last night. See, in my dream, I told him about the dream I was having. Oh, isn't that funny? <laughs> and Bruce said he had to go because he was giving a concert and he couldn't stay to hear the rest of my dream. That Bruce knew what he was doing. <laughs> you're gonna be I won't tell you my dreams anymore good <laughs> well honey your dreams do have a tendency to go on and on and on and on and on I think mom's dreams are neat she has celebrities in them I like the one where she did the tango with Tip O'Neill <laughs> good morning everybody Are you actually going to eat those? No, I'm going to rub them in my hair. <laughs> do you know what eggs do to your cholesterol level? Will you kindly leave my eating habits alone? Okay, if you don't care what happens to you. My father ate two fried eggs for breakfast and a hard-boiled egg for lunch every day of his life. And he died at 96. <laughs> well, there you are. Too many eggs. Anybody want to hear a joke? No. Well, I do, Kevin. Go ahead. Watch out, Kevin. It's a tough audience. <laughs> you know what a humbug is? Well, I give up. What's a humbug? A bug who can't remember the words. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I crack myself up. <laughs> What in the world is all that? Bran, granola, wheat germ, and dried bananas. You don't recognize it because it doesn't come with French fries. <laughs> Hello. Oh, just a minute. Curtis, it's for you. It's Leonard. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, I see. Hi, do, 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 do. Hello, Leonard Howard. Leonard! Leonard, get a hold of yourself! They what? They did? They did? You did? Ah uh ha! -huh. I'll be right there! The shop has been robbed! You're kidding! Uh, do I look as if I'm kidding? Come on! We've got to go and check up on it! Robbery, thievery, everything going gone! Will you stop eating that stuff and help me? We've got to take inventory! They may have stolen the whole store! I don't know what that. He couldn't tell me he was so. <laughs> Mr. McKibben, I, I, I came in here this morning at 7 o'clock, like I always do, yeah. and then I uh, open up the store, like uh, I always do, and then I made the coffee, like I always do, and then I, I see the empty shelves, and I say, oh, we've been ripped off! So I, 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 I go to the phone, and I call the police, then I call you, and you come running in here, grab me and say, what happened, Leonard? <laughs> Leonard, what'd they take? All the power tools. Power tools? Oh, that's good. Good! Well, we won't lose as much because they were on sale. I've, I've been in this business for 36 years, and I have never had a robbery in my store. Our store. Remember, we're partners. We're in this thing together, Curtis. Where are the police? You called them, didn't you? The, the sergeant said that he... Oh, would... well, never mind. I'll call them myself. They're never around when you want them. Probably having coffee in some donut shop while crime rages through the streets. How in the hell are you? Good morning, folks. Sergeant Green, Pasadena Police. Good morning. I uh, checked the back door, Leonard. Same as the front. No sign of breaking and entering. Somebody had to have a key. It looks like an inside job. That's ridiculous. 
Don't look at me. I spent the whole night with my mother in Torrance. No one's looking at you, Leonard. And I can, I can certainly give Curtis an alibi. He never left home. He kept me awake all night snoring. I do not snore. You do, too. I do not. You do, too. Last night, you made the windows rattle. Please, please, don't quarrel. Of all the things a cop has to put up with, the worst is being in the middle of a domestic quarrel between a husband and wife. We're not married. Don't even think it. <laughs> I get it. These days, a lot of people live together. You are chick sergeants. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Just a minute. We haven't established where you were, Lucille. Yes, we have. She had to be home or she wouldn't have heard you snoring your head off. <laughs> Thank you, Lennon. <laughs> well, I think that about wraps it up. Here's a copy of the police report. You'll need that for the insurance company. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, officer. Yes, thank yes, you. You're always always on the alert. Thank We're you so very happy much. Feels it. Yeah. And just for the record, Mrs. Barker and I are strictly business associates. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how somebody got in here. I mean, they had to have a key. That lets you out, Lucille. You're always losing your keys. Well, not anymore. You nagged me so much, I had a whole bunch of keys made, and I, I put one in each purse. Then I put another one in one of our key rocks, and I put it by the back door. Go check. Go check for yourself. You're supposed to hide those in a rock garden. Well, we don't have a rock garden in the back alley. <laughs> and where did you put the sign that says, Key Hidden Here? <laughs> oh, Mrs. B, it's gone. No key in this rock. <clears throat> well, at least he didn't steal the rock. We saved $4.95. <laughs> Oh, goody, goody. We can apply that to the cost of having all the locks changed. Maybe you ought to think about getting a burglar alarm. Oh, no, that's much too expensive. Well, what about a guard dog? Oh, they cost a lot, too. I know. We can get a guard goose. I beg your pardon? Yeah, I met this man while I was jogging. His name is Charlie uh, Zellman, and he rents out geese to guard your property. The only goose I'm interested in is the one they roast for Christmas dinner. <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute. I, I read an article about this, and it said that the army is using geese instead of men in Europe. Oh, I can see them marching now. Doing the goose step, of course. <laughs> this article said that they have had guard geese since 390 B.C. The Romans used them to keep from being conquered by the Gauls. Curtis, this really is a good idea. Yeah. Now, now Charlie Zellman is just getting started, so I bet that he would, you know, let you have one cheap just for the publicity. Cheap? Ah, you have just caught my attention. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. How can a goose guard anything? Well, they have very sensitive hearing, and when somebody comes sneaking around, they honk, and they hiss, and they make an awful racket. That wouldn't scare anybody away. Well, they also pinch. Ah! <laughs> well, Lucille, this goose idea better work. Okay, here you are. Well. Here's Oliver. <laughs> oh, Charlie, he's cute. Hi there, Oliver. Hey, don't put your hand in there. Geese like to pinch. So do certain people. <laughs> I'll pick them up at 8 in the morning. Uh, you folks ready to go? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. OK, Oliver, there you go. Okay, Thanks, Thanks, Charlie. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Oliver. I left, I left you some food and some water. Be a good little goose. Be a vicious little goose. That's what we're paying you for. <laughs> okay, Becky, so far so good. Go ahead. Nine times six is 54. Nine times seven is 63. Nine times eight is 72. Nine times nine is... I forget, Grandma. 
What is nine times nine? <laughs> uh, nine times nine is, um... 81. <laughs> I would have had it in a second. Well, now, how did you know that, Kevin? Just a wild guess. <laughs> there, all done. Marco, I cannot believe that you're still iron shirt. But Haven't you heard of permapress? Ted doesn't like permapress shirts. No, nope, they don't breathe. <laughs> Hello? Lucy! Call Charlie Zellman and send him to the store! <laughs> what happened? Well, that, 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 that stupid Oliver attacked me! <laughs> What are you doing at the store, anyway? Well, on the way to the restaurant, I remembered they don't take credit cards, so I stopped at the store to get some cash out of the safe. I... Never mind about that. Call Charlie Zellman right away. Well, there's one good thing. Go oh, what? We know the guide goose works. <laughs> Did you call Charlie Zellman? Yes, I did. And? I got his answering machine. Before I could leave a message, I had to listen to Frankie Lane singing, I must go where the wild goose goes. <laughs> oh, great, great. Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> Oliver, if we come down, you won't attack us, will you? Hey, wait a minute. I didn't know we had a safe. Where is it? Find that picture of Sam and me taken on the day we opened the store. What's the combination? <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Curtis, half the store is mine. All right, I'll give you half the combination. <laughs> Now, listen, Curtis, you give me all the combination. Why? So you can put it in a rock outside the back door? Just about had it with you. Bow, bow, yourself. Bow, 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 bow. Curtis, you hit him. Look, he's not moving, you goose assassin. Is he dead? Oh, we don't know, dear. Oliver, speak to me. Say something, Oliver. Yeah, what I wouldn't give for just one little home. <laughs> What's going on? Oliver's dead. Grandpa hit him with the telephone. <laughs> it was self-defense. <laughs> well, maybe I can give him mouth-to-beak resuscitation. <laughs> Dad. Hey. That gives me an idea. <gasps> Look, he's breathing. Oh, See that? Oh, 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 he's still breathing. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, I must be allergic to something. Uh-oh. Don't you remember? You couldn't ever have feather pillows when you were a child. I forgot! Achoo! All right, maybe you better come away from here, honey. Oh, yeah, come yeah. on, kids. I want to stay. Me too. All right, don't worry. I'll get him to bed. <laughs> All right, but not too late no, now. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Good night. All right, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh. Well, this has been a fun evening. <laughs> but I'm going to bed, too. Well, 
Uh, do you want me to wake you if Oliver revives? Only if he calls for me by name. <laughs> Night, kid. Night, Grandpa. Wake up, Oliver. Please. So come on, Oliver. Hold your beak up high and waddle like a man. <laughs> Good boy, Oliver. Grandma, you did it! Hooray! He's Hi, moving. Oliver. Look Oliver. at that. I got hungry, I went in the kitchen and got attacked. That was Oliver. Yeah, I gathered that, Kevin. Thank you. <laughs> you, you woke me up. I was having this great dream. <laughs> Mick Jagger came over and wanted me to join his group. And I said, Mick, you can't always get what you want. <laughs> Margo, stuff your dream. I almost got my leg torn off. Oh, will I never be free of that infernal ghost? <laughs> you should be glad that he's alive and well. Well, I'm not. <laughs> oh, is he gonna keep that up all night? How can we get him to shut up? I know. Let's show him a roasting pan and tell him how many days till Christmas. Goodness. <laughs> oh. Well, we have to do something. I have an exam in the morning. Get you! Uh, oh. Why don't you try Zellman again? He's got to come home sometime. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> just, just, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. On the first day of Christmas, <laughs> my true love sent to me one roasting goose! <laughs> uh, I give up. No, no Charlie Zellman. Uh, He's still gone where the wild goose goes. Uh, Wait a minute. Mom. What? Remember when I was little and I had that Zupan show? And that parakeet? And, and he wouldn't stop chattering until we put the cover over him, so it was dark. Yeah. You mean turn out the light in the kitchen? Yeah. Good thinking. Any more bright ideas, Margo? Now, don't blame Margo. You just aren't as fast as you used to be. My reflexes are just as good as they were. He stopped. to me. People have to get some sleep around here, and you are making entirely too much. <laughs> that is one tough bird. Green Pasadena Police. We've had a complaint from one of your neighbors of possible goose abuse. <laughs> oh, 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 we can explain that, officer. Oh, why don't you come in? Mr. McGibbon and Mrs. Barker, your business associate. Oh, I never mind shooting your eyebrows up like that. We live here with my son. 
And my daughter. Yeah. And their adorable grandchildren. <laughs> I was going to call you in the morning. We found that guy who took your power tools. Nice work. Yeah, did you throw him in the slammer? Yes. And he's gotten a lot of laughs with that story about the key in the rock. <laughs> Look, Sergeant. Now, this is easily explained. Because of our robbery, we decided to get a guard goose. So we hired Oliver, and we put him in the store, and, well, he, uh, uh he fainted. I don't, I don't know why exactly. Grab and hit him with the telephone. <laughs> well, anyway, he revived, and, and now he won't let anybody in the kitchen, and we, see, we can't get any sleep. And I have an exam in law school in the morning. It seems to me... Yes, shoot! <laughs> Margaret, you have to do that. Well, I'm not doing it on purpose. No, try a little harder. Well, how am I supposed to do that? Do you think that I like... Sergeant, me? Sergeant, what are you going to do about this? Nothing. I told you how cops feel about getting in the middle of a domestic quarrel. Not them. The goose. You've got to do something. He's vicious. Yeah, and look what he did to my pajamas. And my robe. All right. Get me a blanket. Oliver's not cold. He's got Grandma's robe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw it over the bird's head and subdue him. Yeah. Okay, Oliver. Okay, we're coming in, and this time I've got the law with me. Okay. <laughs> Fine, fine. Lucy? Are you all right? We better go in there, Dad. Lucy? I... Honk, honk. Honk, honk. <laughs> 